So, it's me, your little boy, Kisase. You know, let me tell you, choosy ones. Majority of people around you, the aim of coming into your life, the, the main purpose why they're coming to your life was to promote what failure. You know, the, the way we promote, you know, uh, uh, goose, you know, advertise things, that is the way some people wanted to promote failure into your life. <laughs> God, the God of Israel. So you, you need to understand that some people just come into your life because they wanted to advertise their or their their negative energy. They wanted to affect you with their negative energy because many of them are tired of being alone with it. It's just like where you are living in a room, as you know, as it as it is hot right now, you know. You open the door for breeze to come in. You know, I can remember when I was a kid. So anytime me and my Twins, my twin sister, we are eating together and all those stuff. So when, if the food is not like, you know, it's not uh, enough like that, my sister will start to cough, which I hate. So she always do this in order for me to stop eating. So sometimes what I remember, I said, I'm losing, you know. That is when I change the motive. She do it to the point she become angry. Sometimes she will start to dash me meat and tell me, ah, this meat is enough for you. Take the meat. I will eat the food. You know, as a kid, I will say, okay, let me take the head of the fish. So what am I telling this is this. There are people who are tired of the negative energy they carry. <laughs> this is why you need to be watchful. This is why if you are up there, you are watching me, you have to be careful. Because not everyone who come into your life come to promote something good. Some people are just tired of watching the negative kind of neg uh, negative energy they have. They are tired of watching themselves being crumb, being wearing the garment of negative. And many of them are struggling, you know, you know everything, trust me. And a lot of people, majority of them, are like, how come you have this positive energy? Ah, this guy is so, is so, is so amazing. L l l look at the life. Ah, this positive energy is so much. Because whenever you enter the room, the environment change. But whenever you are out, eh, they start to, to a struggle. They start to feel the pain. Of the same negative energy they carry. So you have to understand that the majority of people come into your life to affect you with their negative energy. But what shocked them is that you are too strong to be affected. You are too strong. You are not the kind of person that they can affect with their negative energy. That is what happened to Esther. A man was thinking of destroying Esther, Esther you know, destroying his, his, their life, the brethren and everybody with his own negative word, energy, with his own negative thought. But he ended up realizing that the people he is fighting are those he ought not to even fight at all. That people he, he was rising up against was the what was they are the apple of god's eyes these are the categories of people he ought not to mess up with so you have to understand that majority of people around you have fully come to understand that ah they ought not to touch you they ought not to have that mindset of afflicting your mind your soul and spirit they have no they have no, no audacity or the impetus to come into your life to mess up. They ought not to. And now many of them are, uh, you know, they are now regretting when it's already too late. They are now realizing that you are not that kind of person that they ought to do or to take for granted. You are not that kind of person that they ought to do or to, to hold down. All is because of the kind of energy, the kind of personality, the kind of, you know, vibe you carry. You got what I'm saying? So your positive energy placed people where they belong. It makes them 
discover where they absolutely do what belong. You got what I'm saying? So remain blessed.